Melhor você. Oferecimento. Energia Travel Insurance. Kingsway. Real Estate Brokerage. Clube Noturno Momentos. Rico Burrito. Boutique Med Spa. Mandala Travel. E Netlist, o Guia Comercial Brasileiro do Canadá. Bem-vindo ao Melhor Você. Eu sou a Andy Vieira e nosso convidado hoje, super especial aqui no programa. Hoje um programa diferente em inglês. Temos o prazer de receber Certified Health and Life Coach Vince Soda. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for joining us. Can you tell me a little bit what a health and life coach does? Absolutely. Health and Life Coach is uh, an individual that will help you and assist you in achieving your goal. Let it be if it's a health or wellness, uh, it might be nutritional, it might be mental health, it might be um, personal connections, personal goals and achievements. Um, and it's a Health Coach just brings it all together and directs you in a, in a certain direction, is there to uh, assist you, uh, is there to help you, uh, to pick you up when you need to be picked up, to embrace you and to discipline you and put you back on, 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 on the right track, you know, if, you're, if you fall off track. But it's just there as, a, as a, an accountability and support mechanism. And how does you start working? Well, I, um, I started with my own personal connection. My own personal connection, I, um, I used to live a really healthy lifestyle and it, and it just kind of it went, it just went on me. And I started, I was, I became very large overweight. Um, I, my, the list of things that weren't wrong with me was much shorter than the things that were uh, wrong with me. So um, it was, uh, I know I needed had to do something. And so I did a personal connection myself and I changed it. And then I, I decided, well, I'm going to get into this because I have the personal connections. When someone is struggling through, um, through weight loss or through a certain journey, I've been there. So I can relate to those ups and downs. I can relate exactly. to when people are on their goal and they, um, and they fall off their goal. And a lot of people through my journey were asking me, they said, can you help me? You've been there. I, I've been watching you transition yourself. Can you help me out? Can you guide me? I'm struggling. Um, and then there was a few people that came to me and said to me, If you're not, if you haven't thought of doing this to help others, you're missing your calling uh, because a lot of people can relate to you. And so that's how I, that's how I got started. And one thing that is very important to mention here is that life and health coaching, it's one on one. Yes. So everything is designed specific for you. Yes. So um, tell me about creating goals. Yes. So goals are important. That's a really great question. Goals are important. Um, often we set goals that are um, they're realistic goals most times. Sometimes they're unrealistic goals, uh, but most of the time they're realistic goals. What's unrealistic is the time frame. Mm -hmm. So if you're talking about um, if you're talking about weight loss, for instance, we haven't transitioned ourselves overnight that were 10 pounds, 20, 30, 40, 50 pounds heavier. It didn't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. But yet, a lot of us expect to lose it. For yesterday. Yes, <laughs> overnight. And so that's where, you know, the big fad crash diets, uh, you know, the, the, we call it the yo-yo diet, you know, it comes into play. Um, and people set, because they set unrealistic goals and they end up sabotaging themselves. And gain more weight. And they do. They and gain. losing health. That's the worst part. Yes. Physical health and mental health. Mental, totally. They, the stress that you put on your body 
is uh, is astronomical. And uh, I, I, you know, I tell people over and over again. I, I don't, you know, I really don't understand why you want to go down this route of doing something so dramatic. You know, when 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 it's it wasn't overnight that you've put this weight on, or this wasn't overnight that these problems existed. You know, uh, it takes time. So it's really setting realistic goals. Um, and having somebody to check in with, you know, to make sure that you are uh, you're on the right path. And you developed a specific program, a 30 day. Yes. Yeah. So I have uh, I have a program that uh, there's an introductory part of the program, which is 30 days. Uh, and then if people like it from there, they can move on to the phase two and three. Um, and it's a really transformational program. It's it's the 180 program. Uh, the 180 uh, is um, a program that is mind and body. Um, as a, I was, I felt it to be very important that if I got into life coaching and health coaching, that I combine the two programs together. Yes. The mindset is so important. If you don't have the right mindset, you're not going to achieve any goal. Let it be, you know, for weight loss. Let it be for personal goals, career goals. You need the right mindset, and you need to maintain a certain amount of focus. And, uh, and you need to maintain a certain amount of discipline, but you also need a support mechanism. So you start with a clear mind, uh, and then you start with nutritional goals, um, movement, or exercise. Some people call them exercise. I call it movement because as long as somebody is moving, they could be walking, they could be dancing, they could be working out in a, in a gym, yeah. whatever it may be, it's movement, right? It's very good for your mind and for your body. And most of you don't know that, but I met Vince because I was personally struggling with some goals and because I have discipline in my life in almost everything. But exactly like to do this personal move in my life, I was stuck for a while and I needed to be Push. I need someone to coach me, literally, right? And that's how a friend in common told me, Andrea, you have to meet Vince. And we start working together. So. And it was like that, because two months later, I achieved my goal. Yeah. And it was amazing. So, and then um, for me, discipline is key mm -hmm. in maintaining weight. And you've been uh, with me, like we've been working together for two years. Yes. And the other thing that I admire this work is that he engages a lot in uh, our community's uh, mental health projects. Mm -hmm. Could you? It's the way he gives back, and it's so amazing. And he even uh, created a project at a friend of ours farm, Sherwood. Yeah. And this is the very important part of the personal. Because when you, you're hiring a professional, you have to know who you're hiring, right? If the person is gonna just sell you a package of this or it's something that is really important for your health and it's gonna change you from inside and create balance in your life. Because right. you're not gonna achieve goals by doing like a detox program, a one week juice thing, and next week you're gonna be starving again and your emotional is gonna be crashing. Right. So tell me about balance in your program. The, uh, so thank you. The, the balance in the program is really important. It's really key. And, and that's why I said that I, I incorporate the mind and, and body. And the mind side is the holistic side uh, of understanding why we're doing what we're doing and how we correct that. Because if we don't correct that, the mind side of it doesn't like change. There's part of our brain that doesn't like change. It says that I've been doing what I've been doing for the last 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Why do I need to change today? The best way to me to describe self-doubt is we've all been here where we can relate to a situation, let it be a personal situation, a work situation, whatever it may be, where we say to ourselves, oh, what am I doing? Is it worth it what I'm doing? Mm -hmm. There's your self-doubt. There's your mind taking over your body. Yeah. So we need to calm that part down. We need to train that part. And the way we train that part is with little steps. If we make improvements each week, little steps in the right direction, we trick that side of the, the mind, the brain, to say it's okay. This is okay. It's okay to walk outside of these parameters. 
The same thing with mental health. I'm a big advocate of mental health because the mind is really, really important. I volunteer my time within the mental health community. Um, I'm part of a project right now, as you said, with our, our friend at uh, Sherwood uh, Farms. We've done multiple, uh, you know, things there, from paint nights to uh, wine and chocolate tastings. We have a, another event coming up at uh, in June, which would be a, a family event. It's going to be for um, walk or run five kilometer walk or run for mental health and it's Amazing. about a raising awareness of mental health it's about coming together as a community for mental health it's about telling people that it's okay and you need to talk about it you know and and we don't we there's no sense of living in a um, these four closed walls because you're not alone and that's the whole part of it and so my part of giving back is that whole connection with with our mind and and if i can help somebody um, in that direction then i'm i'm fulfilled i'm happy that i was able to help somebody um, in with the right mindset so they can set the right goals so they can achieve those goals and that they can have a healthy mind if they have a healthy mind everything else is achievable yes that's true Tell me about nourishing properly. Yes. Because we eat. Yes. And sometimes, like, we count the calories. Yes. That's completely wrong. Like, you need to control your calorie intake. Yes. But more important than that is nourishing properly. Yes. Balance is really, really important. Um, Andrea, you know my program on the health, on the weight side of things, uh, in nutrition is it's not about deprivation. Yeah. I do not believe in deprivation. I do not believe in crazy diets. I don't believe in all these fad diets are going on. Through my, my uh, certification, I've studied over 100 different diet theories. Each one of them have had success, but each one of them contradict each other. So it's, it's about balance. It's about balance between your proteins and your fiber and your healthy fats and about living life. Yes. You know, you're going to have birthdays and weddings and parties and stuff. And, and it's, it's okay. And mm -hmm. it's just by balancing it all off and introducing the right the nutrients at the right time and having that balance so you can enjoy your life you can stay mentally and physically fit because you're not depriving yourself mm -hmm. and you can set these long-term goals which you'll achieve it over time and it's about being health yes because uh doesn't matter like your weight uh, it's about feeling happy about yes. yourself i i can talk for myself that i've been skinnier uh times ago and I wasn't happy and I was always starving and especially the one thing that you told me and I started working was the proper nourishing side yes. and when I see myself like preparing my salads my meals I make sure that I'm gonna have all the ingredients yeah. and it's not about the calories no. and having a life because we have social life, yes. especially now that we are starting to have back <laughs> social life. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> and so it's important to have balance because yeah. nobody wants to be like on the corner, like, oh, I cannot eat this, I cannot do that. We, we want to live, yeah. right? We do. We want to live. We want to live life. We want to have a balance. Uh, we want to celebrate things in our lives. And celebrating could be the smallest uh, achievement but it's about celebrating and I I celebrate with with my clients I celebrate all the time and in, in small achievements right and it's good I have clients that text me when we're not in session and and give me an update on something they've achieved or something they've done and I have that personal connection with them because if they succeed I succeed if if they fail I question myself to say what went wrong? What did I what did I miss along the way in order for this not to happen? And so those achievements and having that proper nourishment and having that balance and and uh, getting out to um, uh, you know move or exercise is phenomenal for the mind especially I always refer back to the mind because the mindset is so important um, and it's it's a really link nutrition the link to nutrition and wellness and health, mental wellness is unbelievable. The stats are just through the roof. 
Um, and you know, nutrition is tied from mental wellness to our obesity to cancer. You know, there's just so much and it's all tied to nutrition. So if we can have a proper nutrition without depriving ourselves so we can celebrate things in lives and we have the right mindset, just think about what we can achieve. Yeah, and one thing that is very important, the nourishing side, is especially during those COVID years, now we cannot say times, right? Years. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is the depression anxiety. Yes. How you control anxiety, especially nourishing properly. Yes. So you always uh, with me, like pushing me for my nuts on my meals and so on. So tell me about the nutrition. The nutrition is uh, nutrition is really really important. It's about balancing your your proteins with your carbohydrates with your healthy fats. Um, when you are have a proper balanced meal, um, everything in your body has been balanced. Your blood sugar level is balanced. You're not going to have spikes, so you're not going to set off moods. Um, it's so much more in control. And nutrition, really, I mean, it's. <sighs> It's hard to say that, you know, I, I would say, once upon a time we say it's shop on the outside of the store. Mm -hmm. And at once upon a time, just the outside of the store. But now, if you look at a typical supermarket today, the outside of the store is now mixed in with everything else. But for the most part, if we e eat as natural as possible, then we will, um, we're in a very safe zone. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. But it's so, it's so important, the nutrition. Um, and our balance uh, of our blood sugar level, it's just key, it's really key. Share with us a little bit about the detox, because yes. when I did the detox, it was amazing. And the first thing that people were texting me all the time was, um, are you taking pills? What's the medication behind this? And there is no medication. And one thing, when you told me about the detox, it was like no coffee. <laughs> and I was like, I cannot do blood tests because I cannot live without coffee. Yeah. How it's gonna happen? And it was amazing. Now, I don't wanna scare anybody that's listening, <laughs> that's viewers here, that's not about no coffee ever. It's just through the detox. Yes. So the detox is really a reset cleanse to reset our body, to clear and rid ourselves of all things that aren't good and then reintroduce and you said it's all natural there's no pills there's nothing you have to buy from me or buy from a pharmaceutical company it's in your pantry and if it's not in your pantry you can find it in your health food store maybe and it's food it's food um, the importance of the detox is exactly that is to reset we have so many toxins in us it's resetting that so our body will react accordingly and properly to what we're doing. So when we reintroduce foods back in, it's gonna start, and most people lose a fair amount of weight through the detox. And I tell them, but this is not, because somebody says to me, hey, listen, this is fantastic. Can I do this detox for the next six months? No, no, yes. no, <laughs> you can't. There's a process, there's a, there's a certain way to go about it. The detox is there for a certain reason, is to cleanse us and to reset our bodies, and then we reintroduce things in. So coffee, yes, there's a short period of time that there's no coffee, but then it's been re it gets reintroduced back into our diets. It's and I just, didn't die. Yeah, <laughs> see, <laughs> and you survived. <laughs> so yeah, so that's why it's it's uh, it's key and it's really important. And um, it, it's like you know, people say to me, "Is it important for me to do the cleanse?" Yeah. And I say, I say so. Yes. Mm -hmm. And the reason why is because of that purification, the detoxing to kind of set yourself down to zero and then restart again. Is it absolutely important? No, but your results may vary. Mm -hmm. By going through that step and then going into the next phase, you feel better about it. Once you've completed it, you feel... Empowered. I felt empowered because I did it. Right. right, and it wasn't about just losing weight and cleaning my body. What I felt is that I discovered food again. Right, because when you start introducing like it piece by piece, yeah. So the different combinations that I was missing, and even like the to eat something raw like this, the hapini, the broccoli, whatever. You just eat during the day. 
but when you focus on the nutrition, the detox, and it's a step by step, you, you go doing the puzzle, putting yeah. together the yeah. pieces, it's like rediscovering the food. 100%. And, and the, the reality is, Andrea, that everybody, they know they have to, they know that they have to eat healthier, but they don't know exactly what or how to start. Mm -hmm. So the plan gives you a step by step. It's mm -hmm. a no brainer. You don't need to figure it out. I figure it out for you and I tell you. Um, and the detox is that that first step is that first step to understanding it's that first step to your mind accepting this change all at once feeling so much better um, you know from for not being sluggish or having certain symptoms or um, you know there's just so many and I was not starving because you go outside it's like have this detox juice the kombucha the whatever and you always starving and you lose weight two days and four days later you gain double weight yeah and you didn't clean your body right right Vince thank you so much for coming here sharing your journey with us my pleasure thank you and your Instagram account because yes people so, want to contact you yes it's lighthouse the number one AT um, and uh, yeah follow me message me uh, if you want to just connect on a consultation I'll, uh, I'm offering an absolutely free of charge, no obligation consultation, just one-on-one, -on -one, no group session. It's a one-on-one -on -one session with me. And if you, there's a fit, fantastic. If there isn't, no problem. You just had 30 minutes with me. So. And, and you learn a lot about yourself, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Obrigada pela companhia e a gente fica aqui. Melhor você. Oferecimento Energia Travel Insurance. Kingsway Real Estate Brokerage. Clube Noturno Momentos. Rico Burrito. Boutique Med Spa. Mandala Travel. E Netlist, o Guia Comercial Brasileiro do Canadá.